don't know. Why not? What's the ice boots? Well, they have rain boots. Do they have spikes in them like cleats? <laughs> <laughs> like the, um, what are the tire chains? <laughs> yeah, I got some boots with chains on them. Well, you're going to need them. <laughs> hey, I, everybody. I had... Well, I didn't wear them today. You have snow boots. Is that the same thing? As I have snow boots. boots. Mm -hmm. The pink ones. Oh, yeah, the pink ones. And then the other ones that I have. Hi, Allie. Hi, Hi Deb. Deb. How are y'all? Is everybody cold where they're at? I mean, I feel like... I feel like Alaska's winter cold, so it's like a dumb question to ask Allie that. You know, it could be, I don't know. It could be having a heat wave. It could be like, you know, 20 today. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, oh, Rhonda's coming to see us on Wednesday next week. Awesome. Yes. Hi, everyone. Hi, Erin. Yes, hi, everyone. We are in the about to be in the frozen tundra. We're in apocalypse mode. The thing about, the thing about Texas, though, when they make a huge deal over weather, it's not really so much. When they don't really say much, that's when we get frozen in. I what? just tricked somebody. Gwen says Misty's wearing Starly. It's going to be a good day. This is not Starly. It is not. She's doing something different. It kind of does look like a curlier Starly. But now I'm well, wearing Gabor's Fresh Chic. And every time someone comes in and we put that wig on someone in the shop, Misty says, why don't I have that wig? Every time. Finally happens. Every single time. So finally today I'm like, I am getting me a fresh chic. And this is the GL48, which is what they call dark chocolate. What are you wearing, Kimberly? I am wearing um, Orchid in Americana. So it's part yeah. of their chocolate collection. Oh. Hi, Maxine. <laughs> the lion filled the groundhog. I know, he saw a shadow. But then I read that he's really only 40% right. But I don't he think you the guys same record as me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think that Pennsylvania is really gonna thaw out. No, no. But the thing of it is, you just have to, you know, say it with confidence, and you know, then people believe you. That's what I say all the time. Jake but is I'm watching from now. Dubai. Oh, awesome! Second week in a row. Yes. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Beth. Oh, I just love Charlotte. Yeah. Hi, Beth. I, I Deb says she's excited about the new Aesthetica shade. I can't tell you how excited I am. I was like in the worst mood the other day. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say why, but I thought it wasn't going to get here in time. So that's why we really didn't ask anything. Why wasn't it going to get here on time? Did someone not follow your instructions? They didn't. No one listens to me. I mean, when I say do something, they should, they should just do it. Yeah, well. No, um, seriously, they had a storm come through and somehow or another wires got crossed. So it didn't ship out till a little later, but we have them. Well, Colleen says it's cold where she is, and she posted a really cute picture today. She's got a hat on, and then another hat on top of that hat, and mm. it looks like she's out shoveling snow, which is hard, hard work. I, I couldn't like. do it. That's why I live in the South. I think snow is beautiful, but only when I like go to Colorado and see it on a mountain top from the distance. Yeah, yeah, I'm not good at it, and I can never. Sh you ever even shovel snow? Well, yeah, you live I in lived Chicago. I lived in Chicago. I just shovel snow to get in my driveway. And yeah. It, it's not fun in heels and a suit. Mm -mm. Oh, someone's recovering from COVID. I'm sorry. The, the things start scrolling so fast. I'm, we miss some of yeah. the messages. Yeah. So we do go back and read them usually. So anyway, we... So what are we going to do today? We're going to show Aesthetic is new. They're making a new shade of blonde, which I'm sure you've... Seen. I didn't put it in the group on Facebook, but I did put it on our Facebook page, their little preview video, which I am so excited. Yes. I mean, they did the Silver Sun Root, which I think is a really pretty color, but it's just a little too light for some people. Right. So I'm hoping this kind of fills that gap. Brenna says it's negative 30 where she is. We have got no right to complain. Mm -mm. No right. You're a strong woman. You are strong. Oh, before we go on, can I just give a shout out to Holly? Oh, Holly Rogers. Yes, she's so sweet. She's coming to see me on Friday. I think it's Friday. Friday, Saturday. I don't know. Saturday. I'm so mixed up that I don't even know what my name is. But she had us, if you live local, I don't know if this is a nationwide thing or if it's just local, but there's a, a place called Crumble Cookies. Oh. And they're more like, I don't know, a cookie is just an understatement. Yeah, you can't eat one. They're thick, and they have this, they're, they're literally like this thick. Anyway, she sent those to us this morning. It just made my 
my day. It did me too. Because anytime the weather starts getting kind of crappy, I just want to eat. I just want to yeah. like eat comfort food and just get on a blanket and wrap it up. Anyway, I guess we need to move on. Yes. Okay. But, you know, we get caught up in cookies. I mean, I'm a cookie monster. I don't like cookies. Yes, Rhonda knows what they're about. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Janet. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you got them on your side. So we only have, we're just going to like take turns trying these on. <clears throat> these will all be in the description underneath the video. I will timestamp them um, after we get done. And then you'll be able to go back and just click on the time. You won't have to listen to our first six minutes of rambling which that was pretty good today sometimes we've rambled for like 10 minutes well i still have more griping to do what are you griping about now well remember last week i was complaining about starbucks going up mm -hmm. well lo and behold yeah we got new price lists from the wig companies and everybody's going up and it's not just a little bit and i'm sure you'll notice it on our site and it's no different than any other industry it's just you know, for the last couple of years, we've held, we've held our prices constant and absorbed the price increase, but we can't do that anymore. Yeah, some of them are jumping, like, by over 20%. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I don't have the prices updated, so that's your hint that if you want to place an order in the next day or two, you better do it because um, some of them are going to be going Some down. of them are going up. Um, Significantly. $40, $40, $50. I mean, it... And some it, of them will stay the same. I mean, you just... It's just, it's style dependent, but anyway, it's just, it's the world we live in. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows there's a shipping crisis and the the shipping costs have tripled and so they've got to get everything over here from overseas because nothing's made Do in the know, United I States. Yeah, I think we should just talk about the whole air freight thing. There's, we won't say any company names. But there is one company, now you all know how much it costs to ship, okay? There is one company that if they have a back order, and we want it a little bit sooner, not even a lot sooner, but like maybe a week or two sooner. We can pay thirty dollars per week. Thirty-five. They oh, excuse me. Remember the That's last right. time it went up thirty-five dollars. That rep per does not week. like talking to me because I'm like, Are, <laughs> seriously? I'm like, you can almost buy a child seat on the aircraft for one <laughs> wig. I'm like, I can understand if they say thirty-five dollars for six wigs or whatever. Thirty-five dollars right. per wig. Anyway, so y'all back orders. We're just saying, send them when you get them because. Ain't nobody want to spend thirty five dollars on one. It's day only one extra. company, and, and the other companies are doing air freight, but they're absorbing that cost. Yeah. Well, now we know why they're absorbing it because they did a price increase. So. Yeah, but yeah. I would rather them do that than to come out and say we're. Oh, I, I do not this. like feeling like I'm getting nickel and dimed. No. Okay. Oh my goodness, Christine says they got nineteen point three inches. I'm just sorry. Any place, any state that has island in the name should be warm. I'm sorry. She lives in Rhode Island. Oh. <laughs> Kim's here. Oh, goodness. Jeanette says that uh, her Dalmatian's food jumped up close to $10 a bag. That's, that's a lot. Okay, so orchid. This is the wig Kim just had on. and Oh, my goodness. It. It's well, okay. I peaked. <laughs> How did your parents ever deal with you growing up? I mean, I can just see Kim come Christmas time and her going, You probably went through all the closets, under all the beds, looking for presents. I can't. So she peaked. Well, what do you think of the peak? I mean, I'll tell you what I think of the peak. <laughs> I think the root color in the orchid looks different than the jet. So you peaked it more than one. Oh. <laughs> Well, no, I, no, I'm looking at the orchid right now. Okay, we're moving on. It's pretty. I can't stand it sometimes. I just want to see. I didn't pull it out of the box or anything. It's pretty. Okay, so yeah, the first thing I noticed is the root is very light. It's kind of a warm blonde. Instead of being the normal aesthetic, um, almost black root. But the color, it look you can't Very really creamy. get a good idea of the color dimension. But it does have a highlight, low light. The low light is, um, it's a little bit gold, but it's not yellow. Well, no, 
No, it's cream. I was just reading. Of course, you oh, picked Colleen. more than one skin. <laughs> Colleen, Colleen, you know me too well. Okay, um, yeah, I do want to say if if you get tired of us and we go longer than you want to, please go back and watch because we are going to actually show all these five styles. Then we're going to comp color compare to other companies. So we'll be doing that at the end. So if you want to kind of talk about, does it look like this or does it look like that, just wait because we'll yeah. get there. This is very creamy, very, it's really pretty. It's a very pretty color. It is. It's not considered ash. But I wouldn't really consider it um, warm, but it's not technically cool. It's kind of hard to describe. Turn around, let's look. It does have some dimension, which is sometimes hard to see because um, we have these really bright lights um, going on. It makes it look a little shiny, but there is some color dimension, kind of like a platinum. And then a little bit of a gold tone, but not crazy. I mean, it's, it's nothing like if you're familiar with John Renault's Laguna Blonde. Um, which has that platinum, the 102 running through it, but it also has that really gold. This doesn't have that. You know, I think I would wear this color. I think you would wear that color. Uh, it's, you know, it's not the cool blonde that I normally go for, but it's not too, it's not too warm for me. That's pretty. Oh, Sarah wants to know how it compares to Silver Sun Root. Well, you are going to see. You'll see, but you gotta wait. All right, let's try it. I don't know, this is really blonde for me, so let me try it before we go you to the next good one. Pretty the hair are? I've always wanted to have, like this long. My curl. hair gets to a point, it just won't grow anymore. So these are straight from the box, you guys. We have nothing on them. There is this is a true unboxing. Um it's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. Oh, you're not supposed to put those on yet. Oh, oh now wait. I gotta change the thing. No, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. Okay. First I, step. I don't want to get anybody confused okay. if they see. Okay. So here we go. Well, Y'all have already seen it on both of us now. So, okay. Now you can put it on. We're so professional around here. That's pretty. All right. This is Avalon. This is another one of my favorite um, Aesthetica wigs. Yeah, those roots look... That's so... The root is so pretty. Yeah, it is. Now, I will say this is kind of reminiscent of a, a Gabor color. Where they do the soft shades and not the... But even their soft shades aren't that dark. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love Avalon? I know. Uh-oh. I love this way. Okay. I do too. <laughs> yeah, because I, otherwise I was going to have to do a whole other set of those banner things. And I mean, I just I get patience for that. Cover up my these, of course. You've already seen these styles before on this. Oh, this is my favorite. I'm telling you, that color is gorgeous on you, Misty. I love this wig. I love this wig. Are we squeaking? I don't hear a squeak. No, we well, <laughs> it might be my joints. I, I mean, mean, no, we don't. I've on jeans, I've on black jeans. I've never worn leather in my life. Leather skirt, anyway. All right, oh, so have, here we go. Finn. I used to have a leather suit, and it had a jacket, and it had, like, these big. It was, was in high school? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Had these big shoulders on it, and I thought I was cute. Becky's asking if we can give the numerical color codes. This is Aesthetica. They don't, these new colors are just named. So we don't actually have any color codes on them. If we, if they do come with a color code, usually we'll tell you. Finn is so pretty. Why don't I have this wig? I don't know. I love this. Yeah, and look at these curl. This curl pattern is great. Of course, we haven't picked it out or done anything because, you know, we try not to do that until we decided we want this for ourselves. But it has this real pretty small wand, you know, more or less not so much beachy wave as... A small, like maybe one inch. All right, I just figured out the squeaking. What? I have leather over the knee boots on and the chair's leather, <laughs> and so they're rubbing together, and that makes a squeak, so sorry. So it is your, you are wearing leather. <laughs> I'm wearing, I got on jeans. <laughs> and I had to look and see if I was wearing shoes today. Aesthetica has such a comfortable cap. 
it, it, it's got that pure stretch cap and it is comfortable. Oh, my goodness. Deb says just set it aside. That's hers. <laughs> These are on the... Are they on the web? These are on the website, ready to go. Oh, love it. Okay. Now, this next wig, I haven't had on my head, and I don't know when. Which one? James. Oh, Jameson. And I don't know why. I just have never really... You know, I think Jameson is really a wig that is underrated because it's really pretty... I will tell you, I talked to the rep yesterday, and these are going really quickly. So, which means I don't, their back order situation is all over the place. I mean, generally with Noriko, Renee Paris, I mean, they can give us a date, and they're usually within a month to two, you know. Aesthetica, but not so aesthetica, much. Aesthetica, it could be. I mean, this is a great bob. It's got lace front, mono part. Go back a little further here. Have you ever cut a bang in this? Yes, I have. Does it work well? Um, mm, y yeah, it can. Christina, this blonde would look gorgeous on you. Yeah, it really would. Uh, also, Sissy is on here, and and Deb, and of course Colleen. Colleen wears. Yeah. It. There's just a lot. <laughs> and Maxine, everyone, this blonde would. I think this blonde would go for just about any skin tone. Well, and that's what I like about it. It's just it's a, it's really. A neutral blonde mm -hmm. is what I'd call it because it, if you want it cool or you want warm, I think that I'm anxious to do the the other color comparisons because I know you didn't do that. You may have peaked, but you didn't put it side by side with any other companies because these are still in the box when you peaked. You weren't here yesterday. You just got these today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jameson. Jason See what I also, have to put up with? Jason also comes in. Jason. Jameson also comes in the, um, that's our male guy's name. He was just here. The chocolate smoke, which is a really pretty color. And silver sun. And icy shadow. So this is a monotone part. That is such a pretty wig. Oh, it is. Lynn, um, you're late, but we are going to do color comparisons by company after we get through with the last style of the five that they're making this color in. But to answer your question, the root is not as dark as Palm Spring Blonde. Palm Springs Blonde. It, it's got more warmth to it than the Palm Springs Blonde. You're right. The jet does. Well, it just seems a little darker on the jet. And... Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Mm, I, maybe it's because it's permatease. Oh, maybe so. And all the others have been like monofilament part. <laughs> Elaine, she says I scare her when I look into the camera. Okay, I won't, I won't look. Well, she knows you have a mean side. I had somebody roll their eyes at me today, and I said, "You can't do that. That's my job. Ain't nobody rolling their eyes but me." <laughs> Y'all, Jet is just, I love, love Jet. Now, I know you've seen Misty. She puts a lot of, lot of product in here and gets it all kind of poofed up and uses Peace Out Cream. And Yeah, my Jet literally will do anything I want it to do because it has so much product. Yeah, I don't know what all You're she like, does. You've got short hair. It's the color. See, short hair, usually you don't like, but that right. color looks really good. I don't like that. It is cute. You need a short wig, Hannah. Well, I have Ignite, and I never wear it. Because he was so small. Well, and then did I get the large cap? Oh, you may have. Peggy, I, Jet would look so good on you. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite summer wig. Get that all messed up and textury with some John Renault Peace Out Cream. I think we better order up some of these. Yeah. For sure. Oh, gosh, this is so cute. Okay, I can't even look at myself. The wig is so cute. I mean, not me. You know what? Why don't I, um, I'll put, 
do you want to do the color or do you want to let's do that which one do you want to wear thin okay thin so Kim's going to put the fin on, and then we're going to do a color comparison. Yeah, Jerry, you're right. You can see the dimension of the color on Jet better. So now we're going to compare it to Silver Sun Root. Did I not get a Silver Sun Root? Oh, my goodness. I thought I pulled one. She rearranged what I did. <laughs> when she started watching We Touch, she thought we were looking in the mirrors. No, we're actually looking at the computer screen. And she thought, how vain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Silver Sun Root by Aesthetica. Okay, okay. When we started, mm -hmm. we used to sit in front of a mirror. Because we couldn't see what was going on on the phone. But... That's usually when we do like a pre-recorded, right? When we used to sit out and we'd oh, yeah. take that mirror off the wall <laughs> and move it, which was like this long five-foot mirror, <laughs> and then balance it on two chairs. Y'all have no idea that we are so... Hey, we are the queens of just make it work. That's right. This is what we want to do and just make it work. Okay. So this is Silver Sun Rooted and... Sunlit blonde. blonde. Thank so you, you can definitely see this is definitely more silvery. Yeah. And the thing is, this doesn't look gold till you put it next to Silver Sun Root. No, but I still love that color. No, I do too. Because as a like a, as a hairstylist, if someone were to come in, it's so much easier to achieve that blonde than it is this without doing some major damage to the hair. I just I love. Oh, that. don't I know that? Remember when my hair was dark and I was trying to get it light? It went orange. It went green. Oh, okay, now let's do a comparison to Palm Springs Blonde. Okay. Y'all ready for that? Yeah, and let's look um, closely at the root because the root is definitely different. Okay, this is Brooklyn. I did not have room to put the names of the styles. So, um, yeah, Brooklyn. Brenna, it is like the Pale of Champagne Blonde, and one of the colors we're going to compare it to is the new Seashell Blonde by uh, Noriko. And I think you'll see that it's uh, pretty similar to that. I kind of feel like I'm in a shadow. There we go. Or light. Okay. So Turn very... your head the other way so you can see the root. Well, it doesn't look that different on the camera, but trust me, this is lighter and warmer. Yeah, just a little yes, bit. Yes, the root is dark. It's a lace front, so you do have the dark knots. They don't put that light color in the front. Yeah, a couple of them, but it's not, it's not. Because it the root's not good. so dark, it, it doesn't, it's not like the ones that have the really, really dark knots at the front. Yeah, it's not too different. Just a, just like a little bit of a, like say you ha just had your hair high and toned. This yeah. is like a week after toning. Yeah. This one. So this has a little bit more coolness. That one has a little bit more warmth. Mm -hmm. But this also opens up the opportunity for people who are wearing Palm Springs Blonde because there really hasn't been anything like it to, you know, broaden their styles because now they can move over to uh, Aesthetica too. All right, now we're going to do the Seashell Blonde. And I think this is probably really close to Seashell Blonde. I think so too. Okay, I hope these bangs are fixed. They look good. Okay, this is Meadow, which has been the hottest style of the end of 2021. Yeah. Is the root lighter than the fin? Yes, in, car in macchiato, yes. Okay, so this is see. Oh my gosh, I just love this wig. Every time I put it on, seashell blonde. These colors are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Even, um, even the root colors very, very similar. Cause that root's warmer. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm so happy. You know, John Renault was the first one to do that really pale, cool blonde, 
And I think finally everyone else caught on. So yeah, so these are really close. Yeah. Oh. All right, now, this next one's kind of stretching it. I think it's gonna be way different, but. Lynn, yeah, the, the word silver is in the word, but it's not, the silver sun rooted is not silver. It's just very, very light platinum. This is Allen Villa, the um, change it. silver blonde rooted, which I don't know, may not be that different. Yeah, that's definitely cooler. Yeah. The root's darker. Yeah, let me turn this way. The root's a lot darker. The root's darker. Overall, much and the, cooler, much closer to a silver. The root in that does not have as much warmth. Okay, Kelly's asking if we can compare to Bombshell Blonde. I'm not really sure who makes that. It's none of the companies that we... Have that almost that. sounds like a Beltrus color. We do not carry Beltrus, but I'm not sure. All right. Next up, which I, I almost, on the Raquel, almost pulled that shaded vanilla, but since they don't make it in very many things, I did the shaded biscuit, which I think is going to be cooler. Thank you. It is Beltrus. Yeah, sorry. Kelly right. Sue. I'm getting there, y'all. We just are limited on space. I'm trying to. So this would be Raquel. Dorothy, you're right. We'll wait a few days. It'll be warm. We'll be careful. Yeah. Um, Mitzi's asking, have we ever seen the one wig from Raquel that is rooted version of ice sweet cream? Yes. It's super, 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 super light. They don't make it hardly anything, though. So this is Shaded Biscuit. And Shaded Biscuit has more warmth to it than some of the other blondes, like the Ice Latte Macchiato. But, so this is pretty close. The That root's a little darker, but that root has a little bit of warmth. Yeah. Uh, Maxine's asking how it compares to um, the Rocket Wells Ice Sweet Cream. Ice Sweet Cream's a lot, I feel like it's just, uh, it is lighter. very, very light. Uh, not, and they just don't make it rooted in hardly anything. Not a lot of color dimension to that. It just is very, very super light with no root. Okay. And one more. All right. One more. Let's see. We're going to go to Tony of Beverly now. Which you all know I love me some Starly. <laughs> Oh, it I wouldn't be complete without Starly. That's right. And so this is the Rooted Platinum by Tony of Beverly. Which is, the root's going to be darker, but... Again, I mean, all these colors are so similar. That was straight up with a twist. Someone's asking what Raquel wig that was. Yes. Um, that was straight up with a twist. The Ellen Villa was a spree. This is Starly. Uh, we showed Meadow by Noriko. Brooklyn John Renault. No, Brooklyn John Renault. You're they're all listed in the description of the video as well. Um, so if if you miss it, you can go back for reference and do that. So definitely, that's definitely cooler than this one. But it, it's 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 rare to find a Tony Beverly color that's cool. You yeah. know, that's this light. So I'm glad that they're making something. But the root is definitely darker. I like that color too. I don't know. I like all these colors. I do too. Shown. I like them all. I'm very happy. Very happy. Yes. Is rooted icing gray or silver? It is silver. Rooted icing from Tony and Beverly. Is there another one? No, I think it's more yellow. Okay. Maybe we'll do like one one episode on just all the Tony and Beverly blondes because. They get really confusing. And, yeah, because yeah. yesterday when I was pulling, I had, would I have like 20 wigs pulled out? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so that's pretty much, I think, what we think compares across the board. 
I thought you, I gave you. Oh, this is silver summer reading. Did you put that on? I did. That was okay. our first comparison. Okay. So, what do y'all think? Y'all like them? I do. I know this. I like this jet. I'm, I'm going to get it. Are you? I am. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this fin. Or a fin. Sarah, we didn't choose Champagne R from Renee Paris because we chose the Seashell Blonde because it was a little closer. Um, the Champagne tends to go a little bit more gold. Quite a bit more. It's yeah. not really considered a cool blonde, in my opinion. Yeah. So. All right, what else is going on? Oh, goodness. Well, we may not be here tomorrow we or the not. early part of Friday. So if you call and don't get us, then just leave a message. You'll know that we're snowy. Yeah, I get We're probably like, going to be snowed in. <laughs> if you leave a message, I get uh, an email mm -hmm. uh, so we know. So we have upgraded our technology to the point that we now can do things a lot more remotely. Yes. Don't uh, forget we do lip scents, y'all. We have a huge stock of lip scents. In fact, we're sending an order in today. So pretty much if they make it nine times out of ten, we're going to have it and carry it. Um, if they stop making it, of course we don't have it. And there's a, a few crazy colors that we don't get, like the blues and the blacks, because, you know, nobody wears those. Well. But don't forget Lip Sense. You can't order that on our website. You have to give us a call, 972-380-5306, um, or you can actually send an email over, and we can correspond that way. And the email address is mwigboutique at gmail.com. Yes. What's our wig of the week? Well, I don't know. You don't know. No, we haven't talked about it. So, y'all, this coupon code is not ready to go. <laughs> what do you think? I think we should do Meadow. I know we've done it before, but they're in stock, and they've worked through all the back orders, and it is just Pretty such much. a hot wig. Silverstone is already back ordered again. Okay. But, yeah, Meadow's great. So do we have Meadow. Silverstone? We, no, I just we sent the have last any. one out. Yeah. Okay. Well, but we do have Silverstone rooted. Yes. Um, and, of course, you saw Seashell Blonde rooted. There are lots of colors. Yeah. So. And don't forget about Kate. We showed you that last week. Right. That is a, an exclusive. So Kate is now made in Silverstone for us. We have, like, four, I think, left out of all the ones that we ordered. So we already have them on order again. But if you want to get one of those, then make sure you get that ordered. I don't know. There's did, And we've lot. got, did we order more Reese and Sugar Cane? Yes, Because that did. sold out just We did. And I'm going to go ahead and just go on a limb and say this. Kim and I have talked about it. We haven't come to a conclusion, but we're going to come to a conclusion right now. <laughs> You're going to put me on the spot. We are about to order. I can't believe I'm saying this. Jackson. In Melted Marshmallow and Moonstone. Nice. Y'all ready for that? I haven't even told the rep. I haven't even told Alicia. <laughs> so it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Jackson's a great wig. It we is. don't show Jackson often, and we've had many requests for that. And so finally I'm like, okay, fine. Kim, we're just going to have to do this. So they will be limited. So make sure um, when you just watch our social media, and we'll let you know when they're ready to pre-order. All right, wig of the week, Meadow, 15% off. Wow15 is the coupon code. You've got to put it in the coupon code box. Uh, Misty just needs uh, about 15 minutes to get that up, fired up and you'll be ready to go. That will run through Sunday, Central Standard Time, midnight. And Valentine's Day is coming up, y'all. I know, I'm excited. So We have something special. We do have something special. And I know I keep saying it, but we really do. Because we love y'all. Yes. Um, I don't know what Misty had on at 7.30, 7 minutes and 30 seconds, but she's going to put that in. It'll be listed. So just give that. You need to give her a couple hours because we've got people in the store, appointments and whatnot, but she'll get it done. I will. So um, just go to YouTube and then pull down the description. At the very bottom, it'll say wigs featured today. And next to the wig, I'll put a time. All you got to do is click the time, and it'll go straight to it. So, Oh, hi, Kathy. Yeah, we had a Zoom meeting yesterday. Oh, yeah. I thought I recognized her name. We yeah. just shipped out her stuff today. We did. We so. did. So, Hi, Lorraine. Can't wait for her, her to get her wig. And when she gets her wig, we're going to have another Zoom meeting. Okay. 
All right, well, we have, we've been on okay. 35 minutes. So All right, right, we've rambled on enough. All right, y'all have a great week. Everybody stay safe. Uh, again, if it gets too icy, we won't be in tomorrow. Um, we may open late Friday, but we're going to all stay safe so that we can keep doing our thing. Anyway, see you guys next week.